Welcome back to another new video on Vedic Astrology. My name is Gautam, host for this channel. And today we are going to discuss about Pisces. What is Pisces all about when it comes to love, marriage, relationships? Very interesting video. Pisces is one very, very special, very interesting zodiac sign when we talk about love and relationships. So please do watch this video till the end and hit the like button so that I know you are watching this video. <laughs> so we are discussing Pisces today. You know, some people believe in love is in the air. Some people believe that there's always a special one, like a soulmate or a twin flame in their life. That's Pisces. Pisces is one sign which believes in daydreaming. Pisces is very much believes in uh, creativity or, you know, the compassion towards the life partner. So very compassionate, very creative zodiac sign. If your D9 or Navamsha is connected with this sign of Pisces, mean Rashi, which is the 12th zodiac sign ruled by the planet Jupiter, then you will be very emotional in a relationship. Very, very emotional, you know. You will be sensitive, you will be attached to your life partner in a very sensitive and emotional way. Now, the biggest thing about Pisces is that this sign is very intuitive because this is a 12th zodiac sign, 12th house and 12th zodiac sign in Vedic astrology is connected with the intuitions. That's the reason why Pisces can feel the love, feel the pain of their life partner, of their partners, even they are not in the same place, in the same city. If the life partner is in a different city, in, even in abroad, Pisces can still feel that something is going good with the partner or something bad is going. So that kind of intuition is very, very strong with Pisces. One very uh, special thing which I have typically noticed with Pisces, Navamsha connection, and when we talk about marriage, Pisces people, they travel long distance after marriage or when they are in relationship, they see places, they see unknown places, they meet unknown people. Even there is very high possibility for Pisces, if Navabsha's connection with Pisces, there is very high possibility that you can end up marrying an unknown person at an unknown place. Like you can get in connection with a soulmate who is a total unknown stranger in your life. Yes, that is very high possibility. Now, because of this Jupiter energy coming in Pisces life, that leads into long distance relationship connection, very strong for Pisces. That's the reason why Pisces, they do travel a lot. You must have seen your Pisces friend traveling a lot or love or having intentions to, you know, travel or see the world a lot, right? Comment below and let me know if, if this thing is true. If you have seen Pisces people and their long distance connections with strangers and unknown people. Very comfortable, very comfortable with, with strangers. The next thing is that Pisces people or Pisces as a zodiac said always try to find creative ways to lure their partner. There could be some problems related to possessiveness in Pisces, but that's coming in from overthinking. Sometimes Pisces, they do tend to think a lot they feel that their intuition is good, but sometimes it could not be the intuition. It could be just overthinking because of the 12th house in the last zodiac sign of Jupiter. There could be overthinking and that could lead into, you know, some negative thoughts coming in all the time. The partner could be good, but the Pisces could, could feel that, okay, what's wrong? Why the partner is not calling or not replying to the text or messages? There could be some negative thoughts going around, but believe me, relax, everything would be okay. It's just the sometimes... Pisces would have that kind of a negative thoughts very strongly in them. Though Pisces are very extremely caring zodiac sign and they can get anger also like extreme frustration or extreme anger. These are like two different poles for two different definition for Pisces depending on how the day is, uh, how the partner, like what compatibility zodiac sign. Typically Pisces is not good with all the zodiac signs. Pisces is only and only good with Taurus, with Libra, with Sagittarius and with Leo. Like these are the four zodiac signs with which Pisces is very, very extremely comfortable. Comment below, let me know what is your zodiac sign, like your sun sign, moon sign, ascendant sign, right? We can discuss about that because I reply to all my comments. As you know, Pisces is one sign which is very submissive. Pisces can give everything. They don't, they are non-materialistic. Pisces is highly spiritual and Pisces also believes that they need a spiritual partner. Pisces is, themselves are very spiritual and religious, but they also want a spiritual and religious kind of a partner or a soulmate. So that 
that thing is very strong in you know when you're looking at Pisces. The other thing which is very important to know about Pisces would be that the level of energies which a Pisces has to show the care towards their life partner is very strong. So Pisces are typically very very energetic in terms of you know showing the care and they they have this belief. The belief system of in Pisces is amazing because they believe that their their prayers could be answered. They believe that they have that faith in them is something which is very strong towards the life partner. And that makes this sign very unique among all the other signs. Now, have you noticed that what is the symbol of Pisces? The symbol of Pisces is two fish going in a different direction. What does that mean? That means that there could be clash of thought process uh, for Pisces, sometimes with clash with their partners or, you know, with their relatives also. Because the way Pisces would be thinking could be different than the way the partner could be thinking. That's why two fish going in different direction and that could also lead into confusions. Pisces could be overthinking or overanalyzing a lot sometimes and that could bring in confusion. And that is the reason why Pisces would take a lot of time to decide whether this is the right partner or this is the right partner or this is the right life partner. That could be, you know, confusions and, you know, lack of decision making and time consuming activity to find the right life partner in their life. Uh, the best remedy would be for Pisces would be that, you know, the person who is unknown person whom you don't know very much, that would be the right person. Rather than wasting your time with the known friends or people, they might not be very supportive in your life. Um, again, now comment below and please let me know if this, is, this has come true in your past life and how it was overall. The last thing about Pisces is very generous sign. They believe in giving, they believe in sharing, they believe in caring, they believe in living a very happy life. But there could be more than one relationship for Pisces depending upon where the Jupiter is placed. If your Jupiter is placed in the 4th house, 9th house, 11th house, 12th house, 1st house, these are like very favorable houses for Jupiter. And depending upon what are the other conjunctions and aspects coming in from different planets, if there is like Jupiter moon conjunction or aspect happening in the sign of Pisces, there could be more than two or three marriages also. So that is that makes this thing very interesting now. Because in Vedic astrology, you have to analyze the degrees of the planets, where exactly the planet is placed, in what nakshatra. It's not only about like Jupiter in Pisces or Sun in Pisces and this will be all the predictions. There is always a lot of permutations and combinations when we analyze and look into a birth chart. So this was all about Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, hit the like button. Share this video with your Pisces friend if possible. And I will see you tomorrow with another new video on Vedic Astrology and Palmistry. Take care, stay blessed and goodbye.